Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Fortnite Creative and UEFN Beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can use one of the latest and really cool devices that came into the ecosystem called Skilled Interactions. So you can find it if you go into your devices menu right here among the new ones, which is again called Skilled Interactions. And it basically, as it states here, creates various types of button press interactions with multiple UI customizations, which is a long term or a longer term for basically mini games. And that's really cool and really interesting. So we're going to present it here and I'm going to show you several versions of the same device. So I'm going to place several of these actually three of these and I'm going to add a light device at top of each of these so that we can kind of figure out what each of these does and how do they look like. So here is the first light device, here is the second light device and here is the third light device. Okay, so for starts we're going to add also triggers for each of these which will be then used to begin interaction. So right here for the first customizable light we're going to go with initial state off and we're going to repeat that for each so that we can kind of see what they do once they're completed or the mini games that they represent are completed. So for first customizable interaction interaction device, skill interaction device, we're going to keep everything. We're just going to use a different UI. So you have a bunch of options here for the header text, description text, what the player should do. Also additional elements that you can modify. All of this will be clearly visible once we get into the game. But this is the most important element begin interactions from instigator when receiving from we're going to go with trigger one and here on success send event to customizable light one and send functions turn on okay so let's check it out in the game here are the three triggers I'm starting this one and here it is. I need to use E for interact to get it in the right position. And there it is. I turned it on and it's working. So let's go back into the edit mode and try the other two. So that you can see what kind of games are or more precisely what kind of interactions are available here. Again, we're going to go and instead of circular, we're going to go for pulsing and begin interaction when receiving from trigger two on triggered and here on success select device customizable light two set functions turn on and here we're going to go and check out the last one which is the bar bar interaction beg interaction when receiving from trigger three and on success, send event to customizable light, set function, turn on. So let's check out these two in the game. Hopefully I didn't forget to connect anything, but we'll see that pretty soon. So we'll start with the second trigger. Here it is. And as you can see, there is a pulsing light. I need to place it in the right moment. And the last one, there is an a bar interaction where again I need to set it at the right spot and it's turned on. Like I said already, I showed you the first one, which is the circular element where you also need to kind of do a quick time event. So there you have it. That's the basic interaction, skilled interaction device. There are other options as well. As you can see, you can explain what the player should do position text in different elements. Also, you can kind of set the meter thickness, scrubber thickness, size, good zone, good zone position, position randomly. There is a bunch of options 
including how many successful targets there should be or what happens on failure as you can see there is a bunch of options all of them are really easily understood and really intuitive so it's a great device and it basically adds like i said mini games to fortnite creative which is an awesome option for so many different kind of game design solutions including of course the ability to customize them in terms of their kind of visual design and of course with functions and events you can also as you can see bad input good input perfect input there are so many variables all of them of course are available in uefn as well but the basic functionality kind of remains the same so there you have it that's the skill interaction device a really cool really interesting option something that is in my view uh, an amazing addition to fortnite creative and uefn ecosystem that offers a lot of versatility so hopefully you found this video useful if you did please consider subscribing to my channel or even becoming my patron supporter i'm getting a lot of free patron supporters or people signing up to my patron page for as free members that's really cool so thank you all of you i really love to see you on board and of course last you can also check out my books on amazon including my latest book which is called the sons of 901 it's an alternative history sci-fi tech thriller with superheroes so give it a look and if it looks interesting please consider buying it that's all for me thanks again for being here thanks again for watching have a great day have a great week have a great month and year have a great decade and have loads of fun in your fortnite creative and uefn projects until my next video my name is ivica bye bye